Hey guys, I've got something I'm working on right now. These little fans, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna show you a little something right quick. Uh, we are drilling, or Daniel's drilling, uh, the mounts for solar panels. So we use just regular angle metal instead of paying all that excessive money for these little galvanized or aluminum uh, or even stainless pieces. Just use regular aluminum. See what he's got there? He's making his mounts for it. So just showing you that. You know, there's a template we've had around for years. And what we've got here, and I didn't want to get off subject, but when I mean, you got somebody working, you can show a little trick there, um, is these little fans, little 12 volt DC ceiling fans. Now, they look small. Now, uh, everybody knows watches my videos, my hands are a little bit big. I'm kind of big to start with, so I'll give you something of perspective here. And that's a cigarette lighter on top of the ceiling fan box. So you get this in the mail, you're gonna think, holy crap, man, that's a ceiling fan? Believe me, it's it's still 19 inches when it's put together. So here it is, I'm gonna show you this, and we'll hold you up to a comparison here. It is not that small. So that's the fan, and pardon my bright lights back there, it's my LED stripping lights for the shop here, but there it is. and. To make it run, it has a pretty high output. So you can actually hear that air probably blowing in the mic there. Okay, now it's a pretty neat fan. It's pretty nice. I do like it. It actually puts out a lot of air. So let me try to do this here. It will not allow at about two feet away for even a good lighter a good smoke shop lighter to work but it does put out a lot of air now here's the problem the problem is this thing it's either on or it's off this is where i'm going to show y'all how to use speed controls for motors this is very affordable it's about a um depends on where you get it you get it aliexpress they're uh about four dollars get them on amazon they're about seven dollars eight dollars um when i bought this one they might be a little different now all these parts here, this fan and this, I'll put the links below the video. Just look down there. I'll have the links to where they come from. And if you want to do this setup, it's kind of cool, kind of neat to do. These will not run hot unless you're using five amps or more. So you ain't got to worry about it. I can actually run two or three of these little one amp ceiling fans on it. Now, dimension wise, I'm going to grab a tape measure. Over here, my crazy, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> she's got a border collie stripe <laughs> so um must be something to do with having all these border collies so um we're going to take a tape measure here and i want to show you that it's not that freaking small i mean it is running a circumference there you go get on the other side i'm just inside of 19 inches so it's about 18 and 5 eighths now, if you're in an RV, a camper, uh, over a shot camper, or even if you just got like a little desk inside of a cargo trailer, man, these are freaking lifesavers. Um, they really do put out a decent amount of air. I, I was kind of shocked by it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do a video. I'd just get pissed and leave a bad review. But they come with, oh yeah, and you guys, man, y'all got to go look at my other video. Y'all got to go look at that. This thing just kicks ass. We've been using these stair this speaker set, there's two of them there, forever. Now, it comes with five blades, but it's a three-blade unit. Now, this is a part that I get a little aggravated with the company, is why didn't they give me three blades replacements for three more blades? Why did they give me six? Can you be that cheap? Come on, man. One more. Now, here's the little motor, and you do not take nothing apart here. Your blades literally just will snap in. Make sure you have it to where it's the back of the blade is the part where you see the 500 millimeter on it. So they will snap in. When you put them in like this, you're gonna kind of tip them up towards the shaft up here, and then you'll roll them right on down and they will pop in. To remove them, they just kind of wiggle out and they'll come out, okay? But they do hold well. They have a spring tab for that hole right there. And it's very balanced. If I didn't have mine hanging on a piece of 14 gauge or what is that, 12 gauge copper wire, 
this thing here would be very stable. It's a little bit wobbly because it's on that wire. Now, back over here. So you get in your, your fan one speed. Now I've got this in my big Jayco um, and I don't like it. It kind of aggravated me and I didn't like it. The reason was, was its speed. Man, at night, it would wake me up from the air blowing on me. It was too much, way too much. And I like a box fan on me. And this was blowing too much air. So I decided to get me the speed control. So you're going to look at this. This is a DROK, uh, D-R-O-K, I believe. And they are very good. So you no longer need this part of your uh, switch because this has a positive on and off here switch in it. Okay. So that's power on, power off. Now they're pretty simply labeled, so don't get scared. You don't have a problem here. See if I can focus in on that. Tells you power positive, power negative, motor positive, motor negative. That's it. And really simple. So you're going to use it kind of as an interruption. Now this here only has a, uh, a cut through the positive line for the switch. Now I'm going to get it unbanded, get this part, and I'll open it up to remove it. And I'm going to show you how I hook it up, and I'll show you how you can slow it down and this is a PWM, pulse width modulated speed control. So at a very low range, you don't wanna run it there, you wanna run it just almost to the low range and mainly between high and medium. And it works beautifully. I put in three of these in my Jayco, I have one over the couch. And these, like, like I said, my Jayco's only got seven foot ceiling and these are only about five inches. And you can actually shorten them even more if you want to. If you take the screws out right there, you can actually shorten that down even more almost all the way to the hub it can't go to the hub but just right above it so this is going to be kind of nice and it has the electronics you see inside that controls this actually somewhat very advanced motor and i hope you can see that you see those magnets i mean this can almost be a generator literally it wouldn't make much you know you're talking 10 watts but it can almost be a generator so there we go. These run about $15, 18 and sometimes, uh, you know, depends if you buy four or five of them, you can get them for $10. But AliExpress, I get these a lot cheaper. I actually bought all mine on AliExpress and then I bought one more on Amazon. So let me get this done. I'm gonna hook it up. Uh, I don't wanna be too chatty about what this is, but I want you to know how easy this is to do. All right, now what I've got is I've got the switch removed and I went ahead and stripped my wires back. So you're going to have the wires, and these come with these alligator clips. You'll have the wires, don't uh, connect it to your battery yet, but you'll have the wires over here, and you could also put a cigarette lighter outlet on this or plug in if you want to. But you'll have those power wires, and I've got them cleaned back using a set of strippers, uh, and they're just, they're just 20 gauge. And once I've cleaned them back, I loosen my screws right there so I can get them fit in there. All right, so, Starting with the fan motor, which is this wire here, we're going to go ahead and get that on motor. So down here, it'll say motor. And some of them will also say load. And they'll have it marked positive and negative. So I'm going to get the, the wires in and tighten them down. And you'll see with this screwdriver touching metal and things is the reason you don't want to be having this hooked up to power yet. And then here, it'll say power, or it'll say positive and negative. Pretty simple DC power things, guys. It's not very hard. Black, black or white is typically going to be your, your common or negative. In DC world, that's call, always called a negative. And this is either going to be your load or your positive. Pretty much the same. So now we're hooked up. We're gonna come over here. And now we get the battery hooked up over here. Now I'm just using a standard lawnmower battery. It doesn't take much. And you'll see inside, there'll be a little light that'll come on. It'll glow in there. Kind of hard to see it in there, but there's a little light that comes on. With these pulse width modulation controls, you're gonna have to get it up a little past a quarter of the way before it sends enough power to that type of motor to fire it up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it up. And now we're at a very low speed. Looks fast on that camera, but we're at a low speed. I'm gonna turn it up a lot faster. So you can hear it if you get a little closer to it. it 
and now I'm slowing it down to just a crawl. So what this does is this will give you the option of, of controlling. I'm going to turn it back up to full speed again. So to give you the option of being able to control using one of these speed controls for a motor. Now this one has electronics in it, but this one here made by Drock does have, right in there, does have a transistor that allows that voltage to be a lot smoother. And if you look up in there, it's got dual capacitors and that's what you really need. Those that they have, it's just like a little dial uh, for a, don't, don't use them, um, dash fan or something like semi truck or an RV will use, you know, the little fans you put on your dash, don't use them don't you know they're just resistive load they actually get hot inside and they have a just a resistor tape on a potentiometer don't use those this is what you need is one of these so now you have this control here you could actually mount this in a box or you can set it up however you want I just put a little clamp or something against mine a little piece of um, plastic tape with a couple of staples and it mounts it fine these are really light but that gives you the ability to control I'll turn, keep turning it down and you can see it just gets down to a light crawl but it's still putting out actually quite a bit of air the uh, even at this really low speed it won't let a lighter hardly run but at night you can turn it down to get a nice breeze I know a lot of people with CPAP machines and things if they get just a little air movement around they're less stressed this is a great thing to have. So one amp, it probably run on, on this lawnmower battery, and this is just a, what, 150 cold cranking amp, probably only got 15 amps of coal, of uh, storage in it for stuff like this. It'll probably run on this for days, uncharged. So there you go. Pretty nice, not a bad setup. And this thing here only uses about one-tenth of an amp in its entire conversion circuit, so it's extremely efficient. A solar panel would run probably three of these. A 100 watt solar panel would run three of these in an RV, keep you cool at night, help circulate the air, and you know how bad it gets in them, it gets stale in them, and there you go. Off and running. There it is. All right, guys, all the parts below. Hope that helps some people out. Get you a regular, uh, outlet plugged in you can put any length of wire you want on there just uh, if you go over 20 feet go to 18 gauge all right y'all be good